It took me 13.8 billion years to make this video. I had to wait till all the particles were made and then the different elements from those particles and then the earth had to be made and then uh, the Lego group had to be formed and then we got Fabuland. So that was the whole purpose. You know, people, you know, you know, like, what is the purpose of the universe? It's Fabuland, of course. Yeah, it's a Vsauce shirt. Anyway, I'm Jabo, channel's Brickzar. We're going to be looking at three more Fabuland sets. We're taking each day uh, this month, unless I mess up, uh, to look at Fabuland sets. And the three I have here are uh, one big one. Uh, and actually, all three of them I've shown on the channel before. But we're going to talk about it, and we're going to talk about tiny boxes. Because um, a couple of these sets came in tiny boxes like this one from Elton. Elton. Elton Elephant. Wasn't it Elton John? Wasn't that the song? Hold me closer, Tony Danza. We're going to talk, instead of Tony Danza, we're going to talk about tiny boxes. Or was it Tiny Danza? Oh, something like that. Anyway, um, yeah, so I guess I'm going to talk about, is this the smallest Lego box made? I'm going to answer that question and look at three Fabuland shirts. And the universe will be negligibly older than it was w before I started. So the big set I have here is set 3681. It's an amusement park. We have Percy Pig. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's Elton Elephant and then Percy Pig. 3615 is Percy Pig. You know, the pig that sleeps in his wheelbarrow. We have Elton Elephant, who has a table and drinks and an umbrella. That's set 3601, 3615, 3681. The two smaller sets are from 1981, and this big set came out in 1985. So almost 40 years old. <laughs> the, these little ones are over 40 years old. Interestingly, all right, so you get the instruction manual. This one I have is in, not in English. <laughs> so I... Without using Google Translate, I can't tell you the story in it, but I did a whole video. Actually, I think I compared this to El Dorado Fortress before. But anyway, uh, comes with an instruction manual. <coughs> these sets have these little tiny boxes, and they had instruction manuals. <laughs> a four-piece set and a, uh, what is that, one, two, three, four, five, it's like seven, seven pieces, yeah, seven interlocking pieces. Has an instruction manual. <laughs> so, not much going on with Elton Elephant. Not much going on with Percy Pig. There's a lot of uh, Fabuland sets like like that. But I think that's pretty neat. Little minifigure pack, character pack. Um, miss those days. Uh, the amusement park. It's a big set. It's on three base plates. Uh, it's, you know... I don't know. I, I wish they made it where the, you could connect the plates together. I mean, I guess I could have used the uh, merry-go-round to connect all three of them together. But we have a slide, a merry-go-round, a table, two booths. I think one is where you buy your tickets, and one is for concessions, or they're both the same. I, I don't know. And this thing is still hard to pick. But then you got the um, Ferris wheel. And the monkey on the Ferris wheel has his $5 things. Apparently, everything either costs $5 or $0.05, because everything's a 5 in this set. And it actually, since the last time I talked about this set in a video, uh, I've been got it more complete. It's actually complete as far as the plastic goes. I was just missing a sticker or two. I did find the sticker. There's a sticker over here of balloons. Uh, it was actually on the wrong side of the the window piece, and I was able to peel that off, and it re. I, I didn't even have to use a steam method or anything. I just peeled it off and put it on the correct side. And then I was missing the piece. I, where is it? Oh, so there's a little boy here. I'm missing the, the little girl with the five dollars. So got all the stickers except for that one, and it's a sticker over assembly. So the little boy is on like two or three bricks. These little two by two bricks. Oh, and once again, what's with the two by two bricks in a Fabuland set? But uh, I'm missing the little girl sticker, and I did find two sellers on Bricklink selling that part. One was ten dollars, and one was eighty cents. And I went ahead and bought the cheaper one, even though I'd had to pay a lot for shipping from Australia. So it's coming from Australia, and I added a few other parts. 
Yeah, I'm gonna. It's gonna be end up being a, it's, the whole order cost me fifty four dollars. <laughs> <laughs> to get a less than dollar sticker over assembly, but I had I got some more obscure Lego pieces, but they had some obscure Lego pieces in their order. Uh, I mean, in their store that I ordered, so I'm gonna be getting that. So, yeah, yeah, this then it will be 100% complete. So as I do these videos where I go through every Fabuland set, I want to make sure that they are all 100% complete, even with the stickers. Uh, so I may not get all the stickers before we get through the month, but I'm at least make a note of it and either get the official stickers or some from Big Sticker Shop or something like that. So so far we've this is gives us six sets that we are done have done, and I just need that one piece which I have already ordered. I wish I had noticed it sooner. It wouldn't have really mattered though because th this seller I haven't bought from. And the other one I don't think I've bought from either that had it. So now let's talk about the tiny boxes. So these are really, really, really small boxes. Uh, I got a com box to compare. So w this is one that's more a traditional size. Back when did these come out? This is from... Um, oh, I, can't, I can't read. I need new glasses. 2010. So this was the gesture. And Lego made several small sets in boxes this size and but that box is bigger than the Fabuland box is the Fabuland box the smallest well they have the ANA boxes these are the boxes that stuff the poly bag in inside the box <laughs> here's the one for the yellow truck it's it's got w the one dimension is wider but it's thin this box is real thin so yeah, the, the longest dimension is shorter than the longest dimension for this box, but then it's got the, the width is wider, but it's also narrower. So I would have to get a, a, a ruler and a calculator to figure out if the volume is actually less. I think this one is smaller. Uh, but wait, there's more. I have another box. <laughs> this is set six, I mean, seven zero three. 703 is a motor. I think this was originally was a 12 volt motor. Uh, it's wrapped in there. Yeah, 12 volt. It's 12 volt motor. Replacement motor. Lego system. D I think I've done a video on this box. I uh, when I was buying when I was trying to complete the Lego train theme, the 12 volt motors were the hardest to get. Because uh, I live in the United States, it was never sold here, and people would list their listing as a 12 volt motor, but it had the 4.5 motor, and it, in, it ended up being cheaper and easier just to buy the motor and just replace it. So there's this motor actually goes inside the little black housing for the um, the motors, and yeah, you just change the internal part there, and it becomes the 12 volt. So very tiny box, right? I think you know I'm gonna put these up here in the front. And then I'll get a close-up shot of them as we go through each one. <laughs> now, that is not the smallest one. I have this one. <laughs> also from uh, the train thing. These are the replacement bushings for the 4.5 volt or 12 volt motors. It's set 705. So a little teeny tiny teeny tiny teeny tiny box. Is this the smallest box? I don't know. You tell me if you found something uh, even smaller. Uh, so that's a look at some tiny uh, Lego boxed sets. And these are the, this is the smallest one that I can find in my collection right now. But if there's a smaller one, uh, somebody let me know. If you want the dimensions, I, I'm too lazy to get the ruler out and measure it. I'm just eyeballing these. <laughs> so that's some tiny boxes. <laughs> All right, so, um, yeah, there, there. I talked about three sets I already showed on the channel and some tiny boxes that I've already shown on the channel. But thank you for watching this video. We're going to be going through all the Fabulan sets uh, that have ever been made. <laughs> Hopefully we'll have the whole collection. And I know there's, I think I've said it before, there's going to be one thing, one huge thing that I'm missing. And it's the pipe dream to get it. It's my white whale. It's the placing cardboard from set 1516. If anybody if anybody 
knows where I can get it, please contact me. Let me know. Uh, that is my all-time wanted uh, thing. It's the top of my wanted list. The f- set 1516, 1516, the play scene cardboard thing that probably got thrown away by a lot of people. Uh, I'll probably mention that again as we go through the month. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll be back tomorrow in a different shirt with uh, some more fabulous folks.